I think Irish soda bread should be made all year long. But if you're not, St. Patrick's Day is a pretty good reason to mix them. I like blending whole wheat or red spring wheat in because it gives a more traditional texture and flavor, along with sugar, salt, and then baking soda, which is where, well, soda bread comes from. This loaf is also going to have a bunch of shredded Irish cheddar and some red currants. Once you get those all mixed together so everything's really equal, I'm putting in cold butter, and cold is important. So you can use your hands or a pastry blender to work it into the flour until you get these tiny little flakes throughout. Then pour over some buttermilk, which is key, because the acidity of the buttermilk makes the baking soda react, and that's how the bread is going to rise without yeast. Gently work the dough by pressing it down, kneading a little bit until it just comes together, and then we're going to cut two deep lines into it, about three quarters of the way through with a sharp knife, put it into a hot oven, and bake it until it is deeply golden brown. I like to cut nice thick slices and spread on maybe a little too much butter and basically eat it all day long. It's good for breakfast, it's good for snacks, and truthfully, one of my favorite things to bake because it's so easy and delicious. 